Hello once again gamers, CruzniKX back with more Final Fantasy XIV and the Path of the Astrologian. Um, we finally got to level 54 when we last left off in the Astrologian storyline. Um, we discovered that there was indeed another Charlian Astrologian a few years back who basically uh, got killed for trying to introduce Charlian astrology to Ishgard and not because of Ishgard being a bunch of xenophobic dicks but because of something totally different um, uh, we discovered that he was de indeed related to Jenquanod because by way of association um, he was one of Jen he was one of Jenquanod's colleagues when Jenquanod went to Ishgard many years ago um, could he be Leveva's father who knows that's what we might find out uh, but anyways, uh, let's get right down to it with the level 54 quest, Conviction. The vault went and outdid themselves. The location for our next symposium? The Convictory, a makeshift camp for a band of bickering knights. I've spoken at length with Lady Leveva about how we might handle this second inconvenience so as to not meet the same fate we did in Falcon's Nest. I fear the worst, but the lady believes that we may be approaching this all wrong. That we should embrace the situation and use it to our advantage. I believe she is merely unaccustomed to the thin alpine air, and her wits are not in order. Perhaps, perchance we should make for the camp and see for ourselves. Alright, off to... They're sending us all through the Western Highlands, aren't they? First we had to show off the usefulness of the Machinist, now we have to show off the usefulness of, astro of Charlie and Astrology. Oh, I just passed it because I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry. Oh. Still kind of tired and everything, so... Yeah, that's a thing. Something tells me this isn't gonna end well. Tread lightly, Crick. Tread lightly, Chris. This is not the work of bandits. Quimperine's hurts were dealt by the convictors. You were assaulted by the men sworn to protect us? This is madness. The vault led the knights to believe that a party of astrologians would be arriving to aid them in scrying the location of the Horde's next attack. They took out their frustration on poor Crimperine when they learned I can foretell the whims of a dragon about as well as I can and those of Jenquinard. But no, we must not let this discourage us. 
If words have no weight with these men, then let our magics do the speaking. All right. Oops, that's benefit two. I want to spend. That's expected Helios. That's. I forget where I put a. Sp but you're an astrologian. You can't heal people. That's not what astrologians do. You. You are an idiot. Ugh, me leg. Just cut the damn thing off. I cannot take more of this. The pain is gone. How did you? How about this lad? Leave me. I'm not much longer for this realm. Oh, don't be such a drama queen. My wounds. It's as if they were never there. Wait. Who's going to believe that I slew a dragon if I haven't the wounds to show for it? I don't whether, know whether to thank you or slit your throat. Though, I suppose I wouldn't be able to do either if you hadn't healed me with those queer magics, so this day I see fit to forgive you. What is wrong, Leviva? Have you tapped too deeply into your mental reserves? Perhaps you should take a moment to... in a respite. That blood is not the knight's. Oh, not this bitch again! Ah, the royal lapdog. Without you to state the obvious, where would your masses be, pray tell? You! Again! One might think these markings would betray my identity, but you Eorzeans have a singular capacity to look without seeing. I am amazed you are not constantly wandering into bonfires or off cliffs. I have grown weary of this masquerade, and I am done with entrusting my fate to this realm's blundering mercenaries. My name is Selly. And I'm here to take the Lady Leveva into custody so that she can be transported back to Charlien and tried for her crimes. Taken into custody? On whose authority? For what crimes? You are here without permission of the Forum, performing acts which amount to treason. Your grandfather has already been detained and questioned. I am giving you the opportunity to turn yourself in and put an end to this farce, once and for all. Do as I say, and no one will be harmed, yourself included, Lady Leveva. But Lady Leveva, I thought you and your grandfather were dispatched on an official expedition. It seems that Leveva has not told you everything. Did you know that it was her father who was killed nearly twenty summers past. Twenty summers past, Janquinard. Your adventurer friend seems already to have put two and two together. Why didn't he tell you earlier? I cannot fathom. What else are they leaving you out of, Janquinard de Durandere? I... but... Silence! This is my final warning. When you see me again, you will either give yourself up or you will die at my blade. Think on that, Leveva. Uh, 
Chris, Lady Lefebvre's wound is deep. I do not believe I can heal it on my own. Lend me your aid. Thank you, my friends. For someone who claimed she was hired to bring me back to Charlien, her aim was quite true. Lady Leveva, this silly claim that you are not here with the blessing of the Forum. Is this true? Why did you not see fit to mention this? My grandfather knew the Forum would never allow us to come to Ishgard and that their contemplation over the matter was merely a tactic to stall and discourage us. The stars had spoken to my grandfather, and he was not about to turn a deaf ear to them. I kept silent because I did not wish to let the, pe the petty politicking of men thousands of moms to the north stand in the way of our dream, and our, dr our dream to spread the word of Charlian astrology. And such was my father's dream, until he was killed for it by close-minded peasants. But Rufin never once spoke ill of those he wished to enlighten, even at his end. How do you know my father's name? Your father and I became close friends when I was in Charlien. When it was my time to return, he asked if he could accompany me saying that he wished to try and convince those who once believed in the star's power to look to the skies again. And we did, for several moons. My countrymen were deeply skeptical and, and slow to warm to the idea of heathen magics. Some were even rude. But he never gave up on them, right un up until he was... <laughs> I was there during your father's last moments. I heard a commotion come from his room late one night and went in to check, only to find him bleeding and stumped over his diary, which he was writing when he was attacked. With his last strength, he handed me the diary and asked that I do not blame my people and that I continue our work. I believe this belongs with you now. I do not know if I can forgive those who killed my, my father. I do not expect you to forgive us just yet, but... But knowing that he did, even at the moment of his death, perhaps this will help you one day understand. You have always reminded me of Rufin, even before I knew he was your father. Your passion for your discipline equals his own or may even exceed it. Father, did you know what fate awaited you in this realm? Did you see all this? Did the stars have you merely paved the way for me? If they did, then I shall not allow anyone to stand in your way. You're right, good man. And so I shall allow this breach of etiquette. But if you fail to address the elevated verb properly again, I'll have you spit shining. I'll have you spit shining the privy back at Dunder Manor. Oh, leave him be, Jenkinard. Without Quimperane here, I'd have been tied up and shipped back to the old world moons ago. The stars have him here with me. He's not going anywhere. And neither am I. I'm done with symposiums. That is not what my father wanted. He came here not to speak of astrology. He came here to use it. And so that is what I shall do. There are still many convictors who can benefit from these magics. And what a better way to convince people of your greatness than by ensuring they remain alive long enough to sing your praises. Johnny, were you 
Tell me of my father. I would be delighted, my lady. Unless, that is, you mean now, as I have a prior engagement with a pair of lovely baronesses from House Zemael, and I would not wish to keep them waiting. Him and his whores. <laughs> Let's speak with Lavavery. A prior arrangement? Of course he has. I suppose my father's journal will have to suffice until then. Notice how Quimpering cannot be talked to. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the Athenium. Here we are. To think that my old friend Rufin may have seen what grim fate awaited him in Ishkod, but chose to come anyway, knowing that it would inspire both me and his daughter. God, sometimes these celestial machinations are simply too grand in scope to grasp. However, if it is as we believe, then we must, as Quimperine so bluntly stated, make sure that naught disrupt us on our path to that fate. Perhaps it is time I reveal to you a more powerful form of malefic, so that you might be better prepared for the trials that are to follow. Ah, uh, that furrow upon your brow suggests that you could have used this spell earlier in your training. In retrospect, I would be inclined to agree. <laughs> Well, better late than never, I guess. With it, we've learned... Malefic 2. With it, we've also earned Malefic Mastery, which changes Malefic 1 to Malefic 2. Let's show it off at Mist. Here we are, Malefic 2. Where are you? There it is. It definitely does more damage, but gravity is... Oh, sorry, so tired. Ugh. Gravity is still a bit stronger. But anyways, that's going to be it for now. When next we meet, we'll take care of the level 56 quest. I've got to do some leveling, though, so... So as to make sure I'm strong enough for the trials ahead. And hopefully score some more gear, because... I scored some in Somal earlier this morning. But anyways, with that being said, that's it for this episode of Cruise Next Purgatory. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live at PlayStation, you like this show, hit the follow button below and be sure to turn on notifications. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the next episode of Path of the Astrologian. And click here to watch the previous one. Until next time, Cruzic X, signing out.